evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New Orleans State Palace Theater. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of lightweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Just missed that shot up top. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in, slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer, you take his height away. The other is to step up and get, sort of entice the taller fighter to come in and be short. Good way to protect the midsection. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. <laughs> Halfway through this round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Side to side. Good biting, snapping shot by Davis. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him, a guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. He scored well after being hit himself. Nice. Comes across with a hook up top. Finish with the hook. Body shot, body shot. <laughs> Last ten seconds. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good round. You don't need that, no, throw that away. Here we go, round two is underway. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Down. 
downstairs with a right hand. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Money's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Davis. is left now getting into the mix. Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> nice block by Money. Ten <laughs> seconds remaining in this round. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. This is your night. Keep closing the gap. When you get close to him, fast combinations to the body. He doesn't like those shots to the body. Make your presence known. And round number three is underway. Nice strike after catching one by Davis. He missed with that headshot. Get after him! Head and body! Head and body! Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Block there. Speed him to the punch. Solid left hand to the head. Bad intentions is throwing a lot of punches, but he's also creating a lot of room for his opponent. Yeah, he is, and he's also walking straight in. His opponent, who's a little bit mobile, he's going to be able to step to the side as he walks in and get a clean shot. seconds to go here in this round. Scoring 
scores well to the head with the right hand. A solid, true uppercut by Davis. Keep your head moving. Keep moving. Keep Not keep able moving. to connect with side the uppercut. To side. Move your head. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Bad intentions is nailed by a huge uppercut. That's what I want to Not see. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. There you go. And that's the end of round three. Take your time. Keep the pressure up. Don't follow him. Cut the ring off, all right? Set up the power shot. It's there for you. When he moves in, it's there for you. Boxing smart. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not punches. supposed to pose. Mayweather's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Keep moving. Keep moving. Davis is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Good solid right hand by Davis. Jump on him. Nice. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Not much action as he just ties up. Nice block by Money. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice work, nice work. Halfway through round number four. Timed by bad intentions. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Keep working, son. Oh. Keep moving. Keep moving. Back to the body. He's tired. He's tired. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. A well-placed left hand up top. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off Looking the mark. Good. You got this one. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Mm. 
Mayweather's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That's it. That's that is it. why. Hey, relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. Round number five has arrived. Not able to land the headshot. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. And he just holds on there. Keep moving. Keep moving. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Showing you some defense there with the block. Pace yourself. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice. Keep moving. Keep moving. is showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. What a big shot. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. If there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now, he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. It's time. He can't handle your speed. We got it. That was good. Took a lot out of him that round. Uh, Keep that up. You need water up there, that's it. You don't need that. No, throw that away. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick, and then get back into the flow. Good exchange, he fires back. 
Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Get focused. Watch that now. punch. Move, move. Mayweather's right hand scores well. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Halfway through round six. Mayweather's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. is unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Mayweather's come from behind victory steals the show tonight, Teddy. The cardiac kid. Strikes. At least that's what I'm calling him. He does it by knockout. For Teddy Atlas.